Drew here, Frisco Tennis Stringing. I'll sometimes get asked uh, whether it should be a one-piece or two-piece stringing. Uh, if you didn't know, you can string a racket with either one or two pieces. Uh, just want to do a brief video of my thought process of uh, the issue. Uh, sometimes you have to do one piece, sometimes you have to do two pieces. I usually just reference the Stringer's Digest. You get the Stringer's Digest if you are a certified stringer or a master racket technician. Uh, that way it gives you all the latest rackets and older rackets too and tells you exactly if it's one or two pieces or it could be either. So let's talk a little bit about the thought process of whether we do one or two piece stringing so you'll know going forward. This is a 2016 Stringer's Digest that I use. Uh, it has every tennis, badminton, squash, racquetball racket. Tells you the two piece or one piece method. As you see here, that's a Babylon tennis racket, so you can use a one-piece or a two-piece. It tells you the, the amount of feet to use, your mains that you skip, your tie-off holes. Everything you need to know to string a racket is located on that Stringer's Digest page. In this case, it's Head Graphing XT. As you see, it's, the one-piece is skipped and it just has shared holes. So in this case, we would need to use a two-piece method. Uh, as you see, 20 by 18, 21 by 18. Most rackets feature 40 feet of string or a little bit less. This case is a Dunlop racket, racket that you'd want to use a one piece on. As you see, the two piece is blank. So I'd use a one piece, and the, to the right there is the short side, so 10 feet. I hope you enjoyed this little brief demo of why I do a two piece versus a one piece method. Sometimes you can check uh, the actual racket website to see what is preferred from the racket manufacturer. But a lot of the cases, it's going to be your own preference. We'll do another video on the pros and cons of each. But as long as you get the correct tension, that's all that should matter. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Train, and I hope to talk soon.